Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we're going on a little road trip because um, it's Sunday and we are going up to see the submarine to do some camera testing uh, to see how we can film that submarine film inside. I'm bringing some of my lights too because I became really dark right there. Uh, we're gonna test those out. They are kind of bought for the small environment inside the submarine and right now I'm going to pick up uh, Tobias who is gonna be our photographer on the film and Tobias just happens to be very near me in this small city where my playhouse is at so I'm gonna go pick him up and we're gonna go to uh, meet up with Jonas who is the director uh, in Ranas and then we're gonna move on to the city of Olbo where the submarine is uh, that's about I think 110 kilometers from here so it's not a big trip but well I'm leaving my playhouse early I it feels like I just got here okay I just picked up to be it he's in here he's very shy no he's not but this is a marvelous place to buy your ice cream this is called the Waffelberry and um, at summer the queue is all the way out on the road it's really awesome so uh, and well the beach if anyone um, need one we have them all over we're nearing Anas now yeah. and there is windmills here and we are gonna be joining Jonas at McDonald's and we might as well go in and get some breakfast very healthy I know I know breakfast is coming up yeah I got this suitcase from Jonas he recognizes it nice if someone would do something really stupid while I was recording anyway. Come on, do something stupid. No. Mm. Okay, we have arrived at the submarine over there and carrying in equipment right now. Screw that. Okay, we are in the submarine here at the museum for, well, sailing and stuff. They have a submarine, so that's why we are here. And these are the torpedoes, uh, or the torpedo tubes at least. And right now we are putting our equipment here and they have gone to see if they could kill the radio because they have made like radio signal for tours the tourist things here so there is like 
submarine sounds here and that's really irritating to hear that all the time. This is our red camera and it's a red scarlet camera and the batteries you might notice I showed those in a video when I got them from the States it records on these red SSDs which are crazy expensive and we have been really cheap so we only got a 64 gigabyte card here um, which fits in this card reader recorder slot here Jonas has just bought a new lens for it and this is a 14 millimeter T31 I have no idea but he is very fond of it and on the front of it this is the focus ring and the focus ring turns the lens around so it's adjustable from out here and it's possible to make some notes on the side of it like this line here and you could put another line and that would be something else in focus so, so yeah this is our good camera monitor up here that's the we call that the Greek because we bought this one in Greece from someone that was not needing it anymore we also have a boom microphone and that's the Jew because we got that from Israel so we uh, we thought that was amusing Det er helt bull og mørk i fjeset. Ja, vi skal have et eller til at bøde op. Jeg tænker bare, det er en god kant. Altså, de, den her afstand med den her optik på, ja. giver et sådan almindelig ansigtsstørrelse billede. Okay. Det <laughs> er Og så skal vi have et eller andet, så den står stabilt. Men så man lige kan ah, ja. gøre sådan noget der. Hvad med et? Hvad med et lille kamerahoved, og så monterer det på nogle ting? Ja, altså et kamerahoved, som vi tager af. Ja, stativet. Ja. Okay, right now they're messing with um, how to film in that very small sonar room. So the idea is that the person that we are filming in there is going to be the sonar operator. And that room is so tiny that just fitting the person and the camera in there is going to be a major problem. So. Um, yeah, we're playing with that now. So this is where these small lamps from newer is going to be used and why I ordered filming equipment. Because we're going to be filming in this awesome but tiny submarine. Hvad hvis vi gør sådan der? Så kan vi, vi filme monitoren nu, det er flot. Giver det også noget? Det kunne være. Ja. Det kunne være, at vi skulle tjekke, om der var strøm i sådan noget det der. Ja, det vil nok være en god idé. Så er det modsat her. I'm filming myself. Awesome. I have no idea, there's lots of room in here. What are they complaining about? Just get a smaller camera. And, oh, this is the red light district. Hmm, cool. Fra den her side er der flere ting, vi kan gøre. Ja. Vi kunne også prøve at se det her. Vi kan skubbe den derhen. Du får det ikke så bare fint. 
Hvad for Så får du det bare bil. Det kommer an på, hvor langt vi sætter. Ja, ikke husk. Ikke. Jeg kan bruge normalt aldrig HDMI. Nej, det er rigtigt. Og hvad fanden er det nu, der sidder hernede bagpå? Det glæder du dig til for det. And the newer monitor is at work for the first time. And being connected to the red. So the challenge is to film in this one. I don't see the problem. The camera can go anywhere. It's this is a tiny camera compared to the big red, but well. Okay, now I'm just standing in here and I'm trying to film myself. Here is the camera pointing at me and it's connected to the newer monitor down here. So it's, it's not easy to get the camera in view. So it's kind of cool. There's a weird sound right now and that's because it's raining on the submarine. Forth and back with the camera, testing out different angles so that they can make a shoot plan for this film, which uh, is needed. And I'm supposed to show. Trying to get used to moving around in this submarine. Now that we're gonna be recording a film in it, uh, four days we're gonna be using here. And we are trying to start up the engines now. So this is the engine room and we are still planning the film. Wonder what that is. Okay, now I got one of the good jobs. I'll be here for a while. Wake up! <laughs> Okay, this submarine life is, is for small people. That's that's def oh well, there is actually more room up here. Okay, um, I've already found my spot for the movie take. I think I'm gonna be wasting some time in this uh, bunk bed. <laughs> okay, all of this is really to find out how to record this film. So Jonas is the director and. Tobias is the photographer and they are trying to figure out the angles and how to make the lighting uh, sufficient and there's weird corners in this submarine where you can actually put the camera and how to do different stuff. So they have just been practicing the opening scene of the film which apparently starts with somebody laying that bunk bed over there which for this occasion was me. And it's not really that comfortable but this is a practice run uh, we're going to be filming in 18 days from now so we don't have that much time to practice and we also need to go get a lot of equipment and stuff to actually um, make this look like a submarine uh, we're not gonna go for a hundred 
percent look but we're gonna cover up all the touristy stuff like this platter over here which uh, we don't want in the scene we have power yeah <laughs> Okay, I just turned the radio on again for the submarine sounds and we just thought about we're gonna tease the sound guy and tell him that we have to work with this sound because we're not able to turn it off. It's gonna be amusing, he's gonna kill us, but it's gonna be so much fun. But we're packing up and we're leaving. Uh, I'm going back to Aarhus where I'll be editing next week's video. Um, my good editor Corbon has already uh, raw edited the video so it should be an easy job for me so um but let's see if the road trip home is anything fun There are two, so we're not going to go to McDonald's this time. <laughs> it must be where I live. Yeah, there's a rainbow in my back garden. Sure. Okay, it's a brand new day. Actually, it's the weekend after this road trip, but I never got to finish the road trip. Uh, I don't know why, I just didn't feel like filming anymore. So I better round this video up so that you can get on with your life. And we're gonna be filming this submarine film uh, later this month on the 27th, I think it is. Um, 27, 28, something. And just into the next month, it's a four day shoot and I have a lot of things that I have to prepare and I do believe that I at least want to do one of the videos on one of the projects that I have to do to prepare for this video. It has to do with some LED lighting that uh, we would like to have down in the submarine to have some small LED lights that can give us just a little bit of light um, somewhere where it's needed. Uh, something really fast just click on. Everything is metal so I'm probably gonna put in some good magnets from some hot drives or something cool like that and i'll need to change the lights to run on lithium ion cells i think would be a good idea so yeah um so short film recording is just two weekends from now um if you're a regular subscriber of my channel and like to see every single video that i put out there there is that stupid bell thing that you have to where is the bell thing? Is it up here or is it over here? It's really confusing when you're in front of the camera, but hit the bell thing and you'll be notified when there is a new video. Uh, new videos are usually Monday, Wednesday and Friday at two o'clock my time, Central European time. So thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye bye.